Kimika manages a chain of movie theaters in large cities. At night, the inverse demand for movies is given by P equals 18.5 minus 0.05 QN. During the daytime, the inverse demand is given by P equals 11.5 minus 0.025 QD. The constant marginal cost of a movie with plenty of seating available is 50 cents. The marginal cost of an additional seat of capacity for one movie is $6. What is the optimum seating capacity? So this is a peak load question where we have a peak period and an off peak period. The first step is to identify which is the peak period. Sometimes he'll just tell us this is the peak period, this is the off peak period. In this case, we're not 100% sure at first glance. So the way to check is to plug in a small number into QN and QD and to see which price is higher because that'll be our high demand period. So plugging in, let's say the number one to QN, we get a price that's higher than when we plug in one to QD. So we know that the nighttime is our peak period. So we're gonna solve for our QN, we're gonna solve for our QD, make sure the constraint's not broken, and then if the constraint's not broken, QN is our capacity. If the constraint is broken, we have to do a little extra step. But first, let's look at the profit function at night. We take the derivative with respect to QN, knowing that we're gonna set this equal to zero to maximize profits at night. We do a little algebra, and we see that our optimal quantity during the nighttime is 120 seats. So we're going to do the same thing with respect to daytime now. So our profit during the day only has the marginal cost subtracted and not the additional unit of capacity cost subtracted. We take the derivative with respect to QD, setting it equal to zero, and now we can solve with a little bit of algebra for QD, which in this case is 220 seats. So we have to check our constraint to make sure what we found makes sense. That is that the quantity at night is greater than the quantity during the day. And in this case, 120 is less than 220, so the constraint is broken. This means that what we found doesn't really make sense. The busy part of the day is selling less than the not so busy part of the day. So we need to go back and replace all of our QN with, and QD with just Q. So we're gonna add up our two profit functions and erase the subscript. And that's given below here. Now we can take the derivative just with respect to Q and solve for Q, which that will be our optimal capacity. Taking the derivative, we're gonna, we are gonna set this equal to zero to maximize profits, and we can combine like terms, and we see that our optimal capacity after we divide through by 0.15 is 153 seats.